I always thought the greatest thing that happened to me was being born a Rayburn. Forty-five years ago this weekend, me and my Sally opened the doors to this place. Sometimes you know something's coming. Could you just tell us a little bit about the premise of the show itself? Sure. Well, the, the family, uh, it's really a family drama, which kind of morphs into a, a thriller and uh, somewhat inspired by movies like Cape Fear and Fatal Attraction and a little bit of Body Heat. Um, and also more of the kind of the granddaddy of the story would be Crime and Punishment. Um, and it's really an exploration of family and one's role within a family. Um, they're the parents of this family, they're called the Rayburns, are played by Sam Shepard and Sissy Spacek, and there are four adult siblings, as played by Ben Mendelsohn and Kyle Chandler and Norbert Leo Butts and Linda Cardellini. And it's set in the Florida Keys and uh, really is kicked off when the black sheep, who's the eldest sibling, as played by Ben Mendelsohn, wants to come home and join the family. Uh, the parents have run a bed and breakfast in the Florida Keys for the past 45 years, and the black sheep son wants to come home and kind of rejoin the family and the decision of whether the family will let him join or not. And ultimately, they do let him. Uh, and a lot of things start to go wrong. And you'd worked on The Sopranos before, which is another examination of dark, twisted family intrigue. Yeah. Now, if I was a psychiatrist, I'd probably say you had some family issues. <laughs> but I'm not a psychiatrist. But what's uh, the appeal of that type of story? Uh, well, I mean, my belief is everyone has family issues. And whether, uh, so for us, there's the exploration of something that is so universal. Because whether, you know, you have uh, you're an only child, or whether you have seven or eight siblings, everyone has a family, and uh, we can all relate. And sometimes you look at other families and think, you know, I'm so happy that I'm not in that family. And sometimes you look at families and be like, oh, I wonder what that would be like, because they seem, you know, to get along well. And then a few years later, you hear s the stories being revealed from those families. Um, so I think the the uh, appeal is that it's just it's a universal, and if uh, you're looking to kind of understand. Um, your own experience, what better than to dig into a family and, and really start to, you know, uncover layer after layer of how, you know, the families can work. So did you have to change your own style of uh, filming and writing uh, whenever you were planning for it? Because in terms of the cliffhangers and all the beats you wanted to hit throughout and go, it has to be a fully formed thing. Well, I mean, for us, it being released on Netflix all at once was an amazing opportunity to tell our story in greater nuance because we know that the next episode is right there to be watched. And so it allows us to get into specificity of character and allows the audience to pick up on details that you're then not waiting a week and hoping that the audience remembers those details. They can then watch the next episode. And then furthermore, as a thriller, we've structured it more as like a movie. And so the, the first act of our series, which is roughly the first four episodes, function as the first act of what a thriller like Body Heat or Cape Fear or Fatal Attraction would be, where you're just experiencing these characters and their lives. And then slowly, you know, you get an understanding of who these people are and the thriller elements as people start you know, acting and reacting to each other within the series, you know, it's like a, a python who, uh, you know, has its, has its uh, body around you and with every breath you take it, it tightens. And that's the style of storytelling we're, we're aspiring to. Well, I'm looking forward to the rest of the episodes. As well. Excellent, excellent. Um, now, on our website, we do a thing called the Joe Tombola of Truth. I didn't actually have the Tombola with me today. Okay. So I'm just going to have to imagine that. Okay. It's just All a right. series of random questions. Okay. So, uh, just sort of quick fire ones. Right. Have you ever been involved in a pub fight? Uh, I've seen pub fights and I've tried to kind of back away from them, from but not. Distance. But I've never been sucker punched in a pub fight. Fair so. enough. Can you remember your first case? I can. I can. Any embarrassing gory details there? Uh, yeah. Her her father ended up coming home, uh, in the, in right as I was starting it, and I didn't know whether to continue or, or stop. Oh, I thought you meant her father came home after the first case, and I was like, that's not the way it's supposed to work <laughs> out. Uh, have you ever been naked in public? No. But I'll, I'll think about what that would mean. <laughs> in my dreams, I have been, uh, but not in, in life. What's your karaoke song of choice? Uh, that's a good one. Um, uh, me and my shadow. How about that? Fair enough. We'll accept that. Uh, have you a go-to joke? It doesn't matter how dirty or clean it is. We can edit it out. <laughs> 
Uh, well, uh, the goofiest joke that I always loved is uh, a duck walks into a, a drugstore and gets some chapstick and brings it to the counter and the clerk says, cash or charge? And the duck says, put it on my bill. Perfect. Speaking of ducks, I've got a dilemma here. This is handy. What a second. <laughs> Um, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? Uh, I think 100 duck-sized horses, for sure. For any particular reason? Uh, it just seems like it'll be more fun. And finally, uh, as much as fighting uh, all of those weird creatures would be fun, you can probably tell that we wrote a lot of these questions while we were sitting on the toilet. But what do you like to read whenever you're sitting in the bathroom? Um, the crime and punishment. And that's where the inspiration came from. Yeah, exactly. So sitting in the toilet led the blood, Mike. Yes, Perfect. exactly. Excellent. Todd, congratulations. Thank you very much. This was very, very fun. Much. Thank you.